All right, it's Thursday morning, January 21st, and I just got out of my Amazon trade. As you can see here, I played yesterday's close with this big green gap up, and I expected it to gap another time this morning, which it did. And as you can see here on the minute chart, I covered decent profit. So you can see that my entry wasn't too good yesterday. I actually got the spike up at the end of the uh, market, and I got in at 32, at the high 32.68 mark. And then my exit was this morning. I waited a little bit after seven, seeing where the stock was going up. And once I saw it pull back a little bit, got a little nervous and wanted to cover profit and got out at 32.85 around there. So yeah, about 0.5%, not too bad. And in profit, I got roughly, yeah, about $1,300 out of that trade. So not too bad. I'm pretty happy holding on to 1300 So looking back at that Amazon trade and why I thought it was such a good trade. And I mean, you can see here that Amazon hasn't really been playing the gapping game that much lately. Yes, we see a couple gaps, but it also gapped down off a of green day. So I kind of really wasn't focusing on Amazon until yesterday where I saw a gap off this green day and hold a big body. And I thought, you know, since it's been gapping up and holding this pattern, and since the last time it had failed off a of green day, the losses weren't too bad. I thought this was a risk worth taking, and it ended up being a good trade. Not as much profit as I was expecting, but to show you here on uh, on the, my uh, indexes, you can see that everything was heading into the new highs, that Dow Jones hit a new high yesterday, the S&P and the NASDAQ. So looking at Facebook, or sorry, Amazon, I was expecting it to go up because of this momentum of the whole overall market and the fact that this stock was gapping itself. So those together really, you know, set up a really good swing trade. And to show you my watch list here yesterday, you can see that everything was really in the green besides certain stocks and finance, industrials and consumer staples, almost all the other sectors were killing it. And I really like consumer discretionary, especially almost everything consumer discretionary was in the green. So that's why I picked Amazon especially. So yeah, you can see this watch list and I'm not playing any risky stocks or options. I'm just playing simple stock trade. And with these safe stocks, I am getting these big profits like you guys see. So if you want to learn the same thing that I do, just subscribe below and I'll keep posting.